What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks again for hanging out for a lesson. We're going to do Casey Musgraves' Butterflies. Um, mostly easy chords, a couple little tricks in there that I'm going to show you. Also, thank you for supporting my very own thing that I've been doing for two years now, Marty Music. Uh, link in the first comment there and get some free courses. Thank you for that. Uh, let's break this down. All right, we're going to put the capo on the second fret. If you're a beginner, you're going to be able to pull this song off, but there's also a few little trickier chords, but don't worry, it's going to work for you if you're a beginner. So, capo second fret, we're going to start with an F major chord, and I like to play it with ring finger on the third of the A, pinky on the third of the D, second fret on the G, and first fret on the B string. The next chord is D minor. First fret there, third fret there, second fret there. A lot of times I use my pinky there instead. Just my own habit. Either way it works. So we have F, D minor, and then A minor, which is first fret, second fret, second fret right there. Okay, so F, D minor, a minor. And then the, the next chord we need is a C major. So just your ring finger comes up and grabs that third fret of the A string there. Okay, so if you're a beginner, you could really play that progression for the chorus. And I'm going down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. But what the the tricky chord? Now you could just survive playing it like that, but. In the chorus and that intro, it alternates. So the first time through, it's F, D minor, A minor, and C. But then instead of the C, it plays a chord called B flat. And that's a, not really a beginner chord. The way I play it is I bar that first fret and my ring finger comes across that, that third fret with the D, G, and B. That high E is just kind of getting muted off by my ring finger, not, not pressing. You could play it like a power chord, first fret, third with the ring, pinky on the third of the D, and just play those three like a power chord. You could play that. Or anytime it comes to that chord, you could play a C instead, because it doesn't affect the melody that you're singing over. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So there's that B flat, and just remember for a beginner, you can play C instead. And it's not gonna not gonna hurt anything. Okay, so let's start with that intro. And there's really, other than the bridge, there's no other chords, okay? So let's go right into it now. Here's the intro. F, D minor, A minor to C. And then the real way, F, D minor, A minor to B flat. Like that. And now, here is the verse. There's no C through the verse. It just holds on A minor twice as long. So the verse is F, D minor, A minor, A minor, F, D minor, A minor, A minor. Now it repeats again. F, D minor, A minor, A minor. Repeats again, but this time... And it's, this is going to tell you that it's going to the chorus. We're going to do a C now. F, D minor, A minor, C, and chorus. And now the chorus is really just kind of like what we were doing in the intro. It's got that B flat in there, but just remember, you can play C instead, and no one is going to get hurt. So the chorus now, just very similar. F, D minor, A minor, and the C, and then again, F, D minor, A minor, now the B flat. 
F, D minor, A minor, and the C. F, D minor, A minor, and now the end of the chorus, C again. And then now there's a little melody part, and there's, you know, nothing new. It's just that one time with the B flat and then into the verse again. So F, D minor, A minor, B flat, and then it's just right back to the verse. And nothing new, nothing new to learn. It does the verse again. It does that chorus again. Um, the only thing that really is different is this, you know, after that second chorus, it does the, uh, it's got a little melody playing over it, and it's F, D minor, A minor, A minor, F, D minor, A minor to B flat, and then the bridge. Now, the bridge of the song is going to require, you know, bar chords, non beginner chords. But if you're just singing this at uh, open mic night or you're just trying to perform it, you know, you don't even have to play the bridge. You can, you can go right to the chorus and end it. And a lot of people won't know. But anyway, I'm just giving you, giving you tips here to not give up if a couple of these chords are too hard. So we're going to go one, two, three, and bar that up with the minor bar chord. So it's like the E minor shape. So you have that for two rhythms. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and then D minor to C. And then back to that, when I'm, you know, considering G minor, you know, capo. That again, and then just the B flat. right into that chorus again. So once again, that bridge is this bar chord minor, D minor, C, back to the minor bar chord, and then just B flat for two. Chorus. Everything kicks in now. Etc. Now, what it sounds like, the main guitar, which could be Casey herself, I'm not actually positive, but another way to strum it, which is with the capo on that second fret, is just like all 16th notes to the rhythm, like... So that's another thing that's kind of going on underneath uh, the, the grooves there. And then, of course, there's where it's just picking out, you know, and there's... Hammer-ons on that, on that G string. Hey guys, thanks again for hanging out for the lesson. Uh, if you'd like to request the song, you can leave it in the comments below. Also, thanks for uh, subscribing and liking the video and all that stuff. You know, all that support really helps me. So thank you for that. And I can't wait to see you again real soon. <laughs>